Hello, my name is Ed Thompson and I'm the author of the Roots Persona plugin for WordPress. Roots Persona allows you to display family information extracted from a GEDCOM file right on your WordPress website. Today I want to talk about how to customize the pages that Roots Persona generates to be a little more consistent with the style that you've chosen. On my demo website here I have the default uh, 2011 theme and you can see here that um, my page for my great great grandfather, Charles Henry Thompson, um, doesn't exactly fit in with the theme. And, and in fact, the theme itself isn't very pretty. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, activate a different theme. Here I've chosen the Weaver theme. You can download that from the WordPress website. And I'm going to activate it. And now when I refresh, you'll see that the page is rendered more consistent with this particular theme. Now the intent is that Roots Persona uh, is theme agnostic, so it should work with any theme. Uh, there have been some themes that we have found that it doesn't quite work well with, but um, I have tried to do what I can in those cases to work with people uh, so that it would be more consistent with the theme. Now as you can see, this banner that I use to separate the various panels in Roots Persona uh, is displaying a blue stucco uh, image for, uh, for the banner display. And it'd be kind of nice if I could make it consistent with the theme that I've chosen. Um, you know, maybe have it display this color with the text in that color. So earlier I um, extracted the color code for that bar, and I'm going to copy it. And under Options, Settings, uh, Roots Persona, scroll down to the bottom, and there's three options I, I, I want to um, draw your attention to. Banner foreground color, banner background color, and banner image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the banner foreground color. And that will override the default image in any default colors that are already assigned to the banner. Um, it's important that you include the hash uh, at the beginning. This is a CSS style color code. I save the changes and I refresh my page and voila I've got a banner that's consistent with the theme. Now the foreground text isn't consistent with the theme which uses a much lighter text and uh, what I'm going to do is show you how I kind of extracted the color, how I cheated. I've got uh, Firebug loaded. Um, there are different tools out there that help you extract colors from the web. Uh, I'm just going to right click and inspect the item uh, and this is a title item with a link and if I go over here I see that the color code is right there. So I'm going to grab it, close that, go back to my options page and under banner foreground color insert that color code and now I'll re-render my page and voila it's consistent. Now I did notice as I was going through this tutorial that some of the other colors like the lines, um, the text here, uh, and the, the bluish um, backgrounds that are used in the family group sheets. Uh, I haven't exposed any options for customizing those. I will do that in the future, um, so uh, keep a lookout for future releases uh, and that will allow you to be a little more consistent with your, um, with your uh, theme. Now one more thing I want to show you, you can use a background image for the banner uh, and what I'm going to do is use the uh, wheat background image that's used for the top header banner up here. Um, first thing I need to do is I need to upload uh, the image. So I'm going to go to Media, Add New, Select Files. Um, I'm going to go up to where I downloaded this uh, file earlier uh, under Add and it should be Downloads Directory. There it is. Uh, and if I can find it, I think this is alphabetical. Here's the wheat JPEG. So I'm going to upload that. And um, you see there that the, uh, the image is there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this file URL. Um, I may make an improvement to that and let you select the image directly from here in the future. But for now, I'm just going to copy it and paste it in the banner image. And I do need to... Um, uh, clear out the uh, banner background color uh, because as explained here uh, if both color and image are provided color will take precedence. So I want to use a banner this time. I'm going to save my changes, re-render the page, 
and for better or for worse, the um, uh, the banner image is being used between the different panels. Now I'd probably want to go back and if I wanted to use this, um, change the foreground color again to something that works a little better. Um, but basically, uh, in terms of the current release of Roots Persona, those are the customization options available to you to make your Roots Persona pages a little more consistent with the theme you've chosen for your website. I thank you for your time and I hope that you find this video helpful.